Hello everybody and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 and in today's episode we'll be continuing on with this Tempest Magnum and actually also notice we've got a barn location map which adds a barn to that and a case that will give me goodies let's see what I got probably a bunch of random stuff that I don't really need but high quality hardware stuff that Basically, I'm probably only ever going to use on uh, something I own myself. I'm going to stick all that in the warehouse. And then I'm going to stick the gearbox back on and. Um, that on. Gearbox back on. And do I have a starter? No, I don't have a starter. And then I'm going to run it down the test path to find out what's actually wrong with the suspension. And yes, I'm missing a few other bits. Just what I get for hitting sell all before I finish putting the car back together. Which is first for me, but I guess I can blame that I'm being distracted. Exhaust pipe. Yeah, I mean, Fortunately, they need to be replaced anyway, I think. And I'll just get rid of all this crap. Now, go to the test path. week or so, well, pretty much since uh, Spin Tires Mud Runner dropped, uh, I've been playing that very hard. And I've certainly been enjoying myself, but I do need to have some mix of videos, so back to this. This is because I'm not finished with this yet. I do really want to get at least to the end of all the story missions and then maybe start fooling around with the mods. And I'll put that there. And I've heard adding mod cars can cause all kinds of mayhem. Alrighty. Go all the way up, please. Now let's see what has it shown up as being bad. Well, that's bad, bad, not bad. Go figure. And let's see. Oh, that's headed as well. <laughs> Don't know if I have to work on it though. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell because everything in this is basically screwed. Care of that. Uh, that one. That and what else? Oh, I needed the wheel bearing, and I think everything else there is good enough. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the wheel bearing on the side. Yeah. Now I have to go back down here and pull all this apart. In this case, this is going to make a whole episode on its own. Get that off. That 
fence. And quickly over to this side, and then sort of just carry on. Thinks this max speed is. I really would like to get back and make seven days to die videos, but that might have to wait till the next alpha. Depending on how soon that, that comes out, because I don't really want to start a series and then be getting into it and then have to go to a restart all over again. I mean, originally I was going to do one, but that got fell by the wayside. Um, because there was about the period where I was having trouble with my recordings, and all of this. Except for that, they're all pretty good. And I made it worse, so it didn't really matter because I had to replace it anyway. Anyway, I'll just go quick up this up and I'll see you soon. Alright, and we're back, and now we can get around to start reassembling all of this stuff. Lay that in. That in. That in. The bushings into the leaf spring. And I'm sort of moving from back to the front this time. And then we want that wheel hub on. It looks particularly scummy compared to the new bits I'm sticking on all around it. Still good enough. Let's put that in. Put that new one in there and then bolt. So that one came out of there. That's that side done. And we can quickly duck around the side, put the shock on. Leaf spring on. I actually wonder what's holding that uh, B Max land to actually secure the leaf springs. And, uh, would stay there now, but it'd just be sitting on the spring itself. And then put that in. back in. I'm kind of surprised I don't have to replace those wheels. Mind you, I never seem to do many wheel jobs in this car, uh, in this game. Let's see, put all those bits on, that bit back in. And yeah, I do have to go assemble that, don't I? that earlier when I was buying all the bits. And then I'll do that. Reinstall that. Install that. And then there. And finally the outer tie rod. And I can stick this wheel on and well the side's done as well. something I've forgotten. No, that appears to be everything. And that's this job done and dusted, so I'm going to have to find something else to do for the rest of this episode. Alright. Yeah, I guess I'll grab something from the real GTR. Oh, I'll take the Jeep. I really want to do that other one as a single episode. I left A. Hood, trunk, 
front right fender, right tail light, front window. Window and what's the rest of it again? Trunk. There's a tail gate, not a trunk. No right tail light. And then I'll quickly duck into the thing. Alright, now we can put all the bits back on. A new trunk, a tail light, and I forgot the hood, didn't I? What an idiot. I have such a short list too. And then that's that one all complete, and that was a nice quickie, and it paid decently. And I'm still not at 20 minutes, and that's it. not even including the time I got to cut out. Ooh. I'll take the Sakura. <laughs> and yeah, that'll wait for the next episode. Now, what is your malfunction? That would accelerating plus gearbox. Well, I found the problem right here. I need to take that off too darn high. I mean, I guess this is what a Toyota 2000 GT looks like. And I think I have to pull the start to. Yeah, I do. And get it out. Get it done. Get under and get get it done. Exhaust section I six. Drive shaft. And gearbox I four rebel drive. the shop and we're back from the shop <laughs> oh that's gonna amuse me a bit for a while that's certainly a time saving and I mean as I'm going back on I actually when I edit my videos I run them through on a fixed bit rate so that they're all the same size so regardless of what it is a 20 minute video takes the same amount of data every time which can dramatically reduce file sizes like the Tale of the Dragon videos the raw files were about 9 gigabytes each despite being for an 18 minute video and then the final output video was only about a gig whereas say these ones they stay they barely change which, um, I suppose it depends I think it's because I'm just driving through leafy countryside one of the reasons why I don't do Beam and G drive videos that much is it does have an impact on the quality. And let's see. It's all done, that's all done. And yes, of course, the starter motor, which is on the other side of the engine, so I didn't notice that. And done. Bye bye. See an inventory. Oh, I got another parts crate. <laughs> yeah, of course, it's all stuff that. I how much that's worth. Not a lot, really. I don't think they're worth anything more. So, off to the warehouse it goes with you know, all the other fancy stuff. Yeah. Oh wow, I'm just gonna a lot disappear on me. That's too long. And I'll take the May in. Alright, move to after A. I'm really looking forward to getting into that next episode. And now what is wrong with you? Okay, engine oil, filter, and the gearbox. That's easy. 
and hopefully that'll close out that episode, although I don't think it'll end up being 20 minutes. And then let's see, front wheel drive, so I have to start over here. And this is why I work on front wheel drive cars, it's always so expensive. So you've got a lot more things you've got to go through. And I just realised I forgot to pull off the starter motor. No matter, I've got to do the oil change as well, so I've got to go back in there anyway. oil in it. And that's that. I'll leave that up to remind me at the end of this that I need to put that back in. Otherwise I'll try and send the car off with no starter motor. Right, that release bearing looks pretty scummy as well. So does the rest. and flywheel. Alright. And get that back together. All new parts. And let's see, that's that done, that's that bit. And I have to figure out what I'm going to call these episodes. Something witty, maybe Magnum Force for the first one. <laughs> yeah, that'd be something, just something funny. And I suppose I have to replace that oil filter too, don't I? And remember to click out here so I can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah, I did. Nice and easy. And that one off, and that one on. I wish it was this easy in real life. And once, uh, after doing an oil change, discovering that the seal was faulty when the engine basically puked all its oil out all over the engine, which uh, did not make my day, especially as I was standing right in front of the car when it happened. And um, fortunately my father was in the driver's seat and I think he sort of heard my reaction and killed the engine before it actually did any damage. Anyway with that little story there I'll leave that, this episode here and we'll pick up with uh, this one, this Castor Avalanche. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Um, but I do, I do think they added some more story missions after I finished them the first round on the other one. And so I will see you next time in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018.